Before we get into the video, if you guys want to see more from me rather than just the videos on YouTube, you can sometimes catch me streaming over on Twitch, you'll see on the screen at the moment. Uh, these days, I've literally been playing Sea of Thieves all day, every day, and yes, I know it's not a PlayStation game, but it's an awesome title, and if you want to see it, come over and check it out. Right, so it's that time of the week where we're going to check out the PlayStation Store and see what awesome deals there are for you guys. Hopefully there's been some updates. Um, I know I've seen friends mention some really cool games that have been on sale like really, really cheap. Hopefully they're not just ones that we've mentioned in the past. Hopefully there's a decent discount. Uh, now before anything, if you guys are looking to get a new controller, make sure you check out my sponsor controller mods. Uh, they do custom controllers and modded controllers. There's a discount code down below. Uh, make sure you check them out. Really, really cool over there. Right, the first game that I'm going to go for is is on the PlayStation Plus section. It's a game that sounds really, really interesting just because I love my open world games and it's a game called The Sinking City. Now, this game, it's a big open world game inspired by the writer HP Lovecraft, which a lot of you guys might not have heard of, but it's pretty much all inspired by horror titles. It's a half-submerged town. You play a private investigator that's going around. Um, it's got tons of replay value, and the map's supposed to be pretty big as well, to the point where you need a boat to kind of get around most of it. Looks pretty cool. It's normally 50 quid, and it's currently £12 on store, so if you're looking for a new open-world game to check out, this might be the one to go to. And the second one that I'm going to go for on here is a game that I've mentioned in the past, but it's never been this cheap. Um, it's a game called Bee Simulator. It's normally 35 quid. It's currently £13 on the store. Um, pretty much you're a bee, and yeah. Um, it's a simulation game where you're a bee, so you're going around collecting pollen and all that sort of stuff. But there's other aspects to it as well. I'm pretty sure it's got a PvP side of things where you can play it with your friends. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's very, very cartoony. It's not one of the realistic games. It is more arcadey style. Um, looks pretty fun to play though, and if you're into your simulator chill out games, again, this might be one to check out. Next section, we're going to check out games under £13. And the first one that we're going to go for is a pretty cool anime looking game. Um, it's called Digimon World The Next Order. It's normally 40 quid on the store, it's currently 12 99 Now one thing I will say, Digimon, when I was growing up, I never really bothered with it. I was more of a Pokemon guy. I knew people that enjoyed Digimon, but me personally, I was just never interested in it, but the game does look pretty cool to be fair. It can be hit and miss when it comes to anime games, but obviously Digimon's been going quite a while now. It looks pretty cool and for the price, it's pretty decent. Second one that I'm going to go for is a game called Prototype. Now this is normally 20 quid, it's currently a fiver on sale. Pretty much, you're a guy that is a prototype. A man without any memory, armed with amazing shape-shifting abilities. You hunt your way through to the heart of a conspiracy which created you and defeating loads of creepy stuff along the way. For a fiver, if you're into these style of games, it's not bad. Personally, I have played Prototype before and I think I lasted about an hour on it before I got bored. Um, but that's just me and these style of games, so don't let that put you off. And the last one that I'm going to go for on here is a VR game, but it's a really awesome one. It's called PlayStation VR Worlds. It's normally 25 quid. It's currently a tenner. Um, pretty much, it's a game that's got loads of built-in games, and it kind of just shows off what VR can do. London Heist is amazing. Uh, the Shark Cage experience is amazing as well. And there's a few others in there as well that are definitely worth checking out. It's a tenner. If you've got a VR, this is a definite must-have for everyone that's got a PlayStation VR. So if it's one that you've never bothered with, Definitely, definitely take a look at it. But the final section that we're going to check out, the July savings. Now, the first game that I've got to mention on here is No Man's Sky. It's normally 35 quid. It's currently £17 on sale. This game's just had a massive new update that kind of brings in an alien-style theme. And I mean, like, the alien movies, not just because it's in space. And um, Pretty much, you go to abandoned freighters, and each one's kind of like a dungeon. You go into it, and every single one of them's different. You get rare materials, find really weird stuff in there, and it's just got a cool backstory behind it that's definitely, definitely worth a play. Uh, the game itself is amazing anyway. It was terrible when it first came out, but all the updates since has made it the game it should have been on release this game shouldn't have been released until now rather than coming when it did with nothing kind of in the game definitely a game that everyone should check out especially if you're into your sci-fi games but the final one that i'm going to go for is a bit hit and miss with a lot of you guys um and i understand why it's ghost recon breakpoint it's normally 60 quid it's currently 12 pound on sale now i've got to admit wildlands was better but if you completed Wildlands, you completed all the DLC, and you're looking for something very similar to play, 
try Breakpoint. It's not as good as the first one, not gonna lie. It's had quite a few bugs and glitches in it, which made it pretty terrible at some point. If you played the PvP, or whenever you've used like a sniper rifle looking down a scope, and it takes like three seconds for the black bit of the scope to disappear so you can actually see through it. Hopefully all that's been patched out now, I'm pretty sure it has. Um, but for 12 quid anyway, if you enjoyed the first one, kind of see it as an add-on, just something extra to play until a better game comes out. Only reason I'm mentioning it, because personally I have played it and I did enjoy it, it's just I preferred Wildlands, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty much the same with a lot of you guys. Um, but that is pretty much it for this one, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. Again, if I play any of these games, it's going to be over on Twitch, but at the moment I have literally just been playing Sea of Thieves. So if you want to see more from me, you want to get into a chat, because I reply to every comment I get while I'm video streaming. Definitely head on over there, give it a follow. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.